affected, then we'll see the other guy in that game also because you want to try to get sure. uh, you know, get the ones you can get while you're playing them, then worry about the Tuesday games later on. But a uh, big weekend next weekend uh, for the Red Raiders. But uh, got to get through three more here at Rip Griffin Park, including this one here against St. John. One ball and one strike, nobody out. Barrett has been as advertised all early season. Good to see him. There goes Jamonic. Barrett drops the bunt down to third base side. Laricello is playing way back. And so everybody is safe. Laricello is playing behind the bag, and Barrett lays the perfect bunt down to the third base side. Good have our biggest number of the year. Scott pops that one up. It's in foul territory. We've got Laricello giving chase, Wessinger giving chase, and Laricello makes the play, and Magruder is tagging, and he will score as the ball squirts away from the catcher, Schwindel. So the ball in foul territory. Three balls and two strikes with nobody out. Here's the three two pitch from Barnes. Missed away. It is a good at bat there for Barron. It was a good at bat, and that's the fifth walk. Two a pitch. That one's lifted out in shallow center field. It's going to drop in front of the center fielders. Kelly. So a little jam shot out to center field. And Redmond is on safe. Here's the one one pitch. Come on, ripped up the middle for a base hit. Barrett is being waved around third, not being held up, so that'll load him up. Three balls and two strikes. Kara City winds, and here's the three two pitch. Grounded up the middle, shortstop Westinger fields deep. Goes to second for one, back over to first. Double play. Six four three. Barnes scores to make it two to nothing. Redmond moves to third. Lejeune is wiped out on the double play. There's no RBI for out the belly. St. John's has to be thinking they had just hit the mother load here with the performance from Kilpatrick. That ball is lined. Puck by in the gap in the right center field. That's going to get to the wall. Hagen rounding first, heading to second. See if he tries to make it three. He is digging hard and coming for third. Hagen will slide head first. No throw made. And his first hit of the season is a triple. Want to look for a pitch kind of belt high up. You can just lift the fly ball on the outfield and score a run. There's the 1-1 one, one to crowd foot. That ball's lined up the middle for the base hit. That will score more, and the Red Raiders lead it three to nothing. Or you can get a pitch up and out <laughs> over the plate and just hammer it back through the middle for a base hit. Kilpatrick said the runner's going. That ball is hammered in the deep right center field. That's going to get over the head of Kelly, and that's going to score a run. Proudfoot rounding third. He will score. Here comes Magruder. He's going to slide head first into third with the second triple of the inning, and the Red Raiders lead it by a score of four to nothing. He hit it almost the same spot that Hagen hit his, and there was absolutely no doubt that Jamadric was going to get a triple on his. Here's the 3-2 to Barnes, and Barrett rips that one into left center field. That will score Magruder. Barrett will stop at first with the RBI single, and just like that, it's five to nothing. Got him right where he wants him. No balls, two strikes, two outs. The crowd on its feet, trying to bring this one home. Here's the 0-2 pitch. Swing and a miss, strike three. Man the towers. Ring the bell. Red Raiders improve to six and one with the victory. Five runs on seven hits, no errors for the Red Raiders. Two runs, five hits for St. John's. Tech improves to six and one on the year. Broyles with a win, he is two and zero oh on the season.